Hi guys, this is Abraham from Gozamos. We are um, speaking with Festival Cubano more than anything. Um, so you are Sandra and then you are Jorge. So tell me a little bit about um, what Festival Cubano is and um, we're really excited to become one of your partners. Sure, yeah. Festival Cubano is a uh, is the largest Cuban cultural festival in uh, the U.S. It's a festival that's themed around uh, quality entertainment, world-class uh, uh supporting local businesses, tons of vendors, uh, local talent. Um, most importantly, it's just uh, a celebration of Cuba and its beautiful culture. So specifically this year, 2012, we're August 4th and 5th. We're at Riz Park over by um, Fullerton and Narragansett. Narragansett. Okay, so why that particular park? Um, you, you know what, we were scouting for an area. Um, you know, it, it took us a while. And when we landed at Reese, we kind of knew it from the first moment we got there. Um, it has a real nice lagoon area. It, it was just a perfect location with a very diverse mm. community. Um, and we felt this was a good place. Also, you know, Cubans, when they came here in the 70s and 80s, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them moved to the west suburbs of Chicago. So it was kind of a central location between the inner city and the outskirts. Mm. So we said, and it was a beautiful park. So sure. we said, hey, this will work for us. And, 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 and uh, Beautiful. So. so you guys are in your third year now. Yeah. Um, congratulations. It's Thank a really you. wonderful success. As soon as um, you know, we really heard about the festival coming into it. We right away we were very excited. Not only just because of the food, the culture. I think it was definitely one of those things that was really lacking in the city. Yeah. And it's great to bring it together, particularly in the yeah. summertime. So, right. how's this experience been? Maybe tell me a little bit about your background and why the festival kind of came to be. Well, I um, I basically started off. I have a degree in radio production mm -hmm. and on air talent. Um, but just throughout my life, I've been really fond of throwing parties. <laughs> and when George, we all are. <laughs> and when George approached me um, with my brother, who is uh, his business partner, mm. um, I was just kind of thrilled because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is an opportunity for me to throw like one of the largest parties that I've ever thrown <laughs> in my life. Yeah, pretty much. So you know, it's just a wonderful experience. And so I think everything that I've done up until now has really put me in a place where um, I can use my skills and really um, add fun and flavor. And as my, my role in the festival, I wear many hats, but mm -hmm. my main role is vendor director. Okay. And so I really coordinate with all the vendors and it's a lot of sales too, because you're, sure. you know, in our first year, we spent a lot of time pitching the festival because no one had heard about mm -hmm. us. And so, you know, here we are convincing people that, you know, look, this is a quality world-class festival and you're gonna see that this is gonna be an outstanding success. And really it was. I mean, a lot of our food vendors sold out of food two, That's three awesome. times in the first day. Mm -hmm. So they, I think they were very surprised. Yeah. Wonderful. And, um, you know, my background is I've been uh, marketing and event production okay. management for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. I've produced many festivals in the city of Chicago. Okay. Any, any ones in particular that you maybe could mention? Um, yeah. Uh, bandera Bandera, which mm. is a um, celebration of uh, Puerto Rico, which happens Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I've produced that one for about five years. Mm. Uh, the Puerto Rican Festival in Humboldt Park. Uh, this was the first year I didn't do it. But previous to that, I, I pretty much produced that for the last five years as well. And then, you know, there's a whole bunch of uh, different cultural events throughout the city, neighborhood events and uh, uh, different events for elected officials. So, you know, my background's always been in production. So uh, actually the whole idea of, of creating this festival was I'm 100% Cuban, mm -hmm. a first generation. My parents were uh, born in Cuba came here and I just kind of felt that void because every year I'm sure. going to Fiesta del Sol, Fiesta Boricua, Puerto Rican Fest, uh, you know, Colombian Festival. <laughs> and it just kind of hit me one day. I was like, uh, this would be a great opportunity for mm -hmm. me to, to do something for my culture. And, and that's kind of how that came about. And it just kind of struck like, like a light bulb, you know, it's and it went off and I was like, hey, this would be a great idea. There's nothing like this, mm -hmm. not just in Chicago, but in, in the whole entire country. There's wow. nothing like this. No, that that surprises no. me, even in Miami. It, it really, like you know, yeah. so Miami, they have their Calle Ocho, mm -hmm. which is okay. a great event, um, but it really doesn't doesn't really get down to, mm. to what the Cuban culture and the experience is. Yeah, it's you more know? of a Latin, the largest Latin black party really okay. it's a variety of I mean given 99% of their uh, attendees are probably Cuban you know right. but we like to really focus on 
the, the beautiful and specific details about Cuba, you know, and okay. that's what this festival is really about. So. Well, and one of the things that you've really focused is not only just in the food, but also the, the entertainment, right? Absolutely. From right off the bat, you guys have tried to bring in some really, really sure, great names. Yeah. So yeah. tell me who in particular this year is coming by. Uh, th this year, what we will kind of do is through our social mm -hmm. uh, uh, networking, um, we, we ask the people, who do you guys want us to bring? And that's how we've kind of <laughs> done great. it from day one. That's the you best You know, way. we always know who we want to bring, mm -hmm. and we kind of just, you know, we, 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 we put up a poll, and we say, uh, you know, who do you guys want to see? You know, the first year, people were, uh, pe people asked for Reyes Ruiz, people asked for Albita, so we said, okay, we'll bring both of them, <laughs> you know? And uh, after that, then we, you know, our, our Facebook started to uh, really get a lot of hits. And then we asked people again on the second year, who do you guys want to see? People said, we want to see Willie Chirino. Hey, we brought Willie Chirino. And, you know, this year it was no exception. Who do you guys want to see? Well, we want to see Isal de Gado. We brought, we're bringing Isal de Gado. And then, you know, our, our, our lineup this year is, is very diverse. Mm -hmm. You know, Jose Belto Canario, who's also our headliner for Saturday, um, you know, who, who pretty much toured with Celia towards the end of her career, you know, even though he's not Cuban, he still has that relation there. Okay. And um, again, it, we have a phenomenal lineup. It, it ranges from old school house music, which is mm -hmm. when I started doing parties oh, back yeah, in completely. the day. You yeah. know what I mean? To it's the best part of Chicago. Exactly. To a Mikey O comedy show, um, uh, salsa dance uh, with the con uh, uh, International Congress. I mean, there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. We try to give everybody a little something. You know what I mean? It's not just uh, a festival for Cubans only. It's a celebration for all Latinos to come out. Completely. And, and anyone from anywhere. Uh, really. Exactly. And it's yeah. for everybody. You know, the love for Cuban culture yeah. is like worldwide. Exactly. You know, it spans yeah. all cultures. So, so talk to me a little bit more about the process of how has it been just reaching out, more than anything getting your name out there. Obviously social media coming to its heyday a few years ago, exactly kind of yeah. when you guys really started. Yeah. What was that process like? I mean, it's great to hear that you got so much input directly, but you know, talk to me maybe about funding and getting partners and how has that process been? Yeah, funding. <laughs> <laughs> is that a big, big, big like question, big dollars that we have over You, you know yeah. what? Not everybody is quick sure. to, to jump on the bandwagon just yet when you're first starting off. And we understood, we knew that Completely. coming in the gate. You know, and to be honest with you, we didn't know how big this was going to be the first year. We know we were going to get a couple hundred people, a few thousand, 10,000. Mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly enough, you know, we had tens and thousands of people show up the first year. You know, and, and of course it was... After the first year, we kind of had that momentum going. Great. Of course, we, out of our own pockets and from everything that we do, paid for this festival right out of our own pockets. We didn't have sponsors jumping on board with us mm -hmm. in the beginning. You know, even the second year, it, it takes a few years for people sure. to, to start to believe you. Right, and really um, see the value of the festival. Exactly. To so uh, this year, I would have to honestly say that is probably the most, I think, you know, uh, relaxing I would kind of say mm -hmm. not to say that we're not running around crazy sure. but you know it, we have more sponsors on board we it's have greater more support, partners, greater network greater supports coming from all over the country I mean it's it's, it's shocking the um, the amount of response that this is getting I mean it's uh, and, and we're just we're grateful to have so many people on board with us mm -hmm. and actually starting to believe us now so it's great we're looking to really expand this thing so <laughs> so talk to me more about the the feel of the festival it's obviously outdoors there's a lot of great yeah. stuff going on a lot of food what are kind of some of the run times of what happens throughout the day do, what do you guys have planned well, we've got a lot of really exciting stuff um part of our vision is to make it very interactive mm -hmm. and educational a cultural okay. exchange that's of interesting sorts. educational well, yeah well what we do is um we have uh drum workshops or percussion workshops oh, okay. they like to say where um, people can bring their instruments or we have instruments there so we have a group of, of drummers there and they teach people basic drumming skills oh, and awesome. they get to participate yeah. and then we also have Arisha, uh, Arisha Dance Chicago who is one of our partners this year too mm -hmm. and they do traditional uh, Orisha dance so they'll be going around doing demonstrations and things like that we also do fitness um, demonstrations mm -hmm. with um, Chicago Latin Fitness, they do Zumba and they go from the kids stage to the seniors tent to the main stage and they teach people you know how to stay fit and, <laughs> and I, what we really love is that they when they go to the kids stage they get the whole family involved yeah. and that's part of you know and when we talk about education we do a um, back to school supply giveaway and so you know this is something that we give back to the community with you know we, we get a partner and 
that helps us supply these supplies to the kids and mm -hmm. and families love it because you know they get to save a buck and yeah. the kids are happy and the other thing that we're doing is an arts and crafts table which is an, again another family yeah. oriented interactive activity that they can do with the kids and you know everybody has fun and that's mm -hmm. really important to us that it's not just adults having fun and dancing and all that but the kids get to have a good time sure. with their families well, that's really, really wonderful. So what, what other things can we expect? Obviously, you know, you guys have a wonderful lineup in terms of entertainment. Um, that's, that's such a wide array. I love the classes idea more than anything in a particular festival setting. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really wonderful. Um, tell me, you know, just maybe a little bit more where you guys specifically people can find out about you um, and any additional kind of thoughts of what, um, you know, maybe your vision of what the festival can, can turn into in the few coming years. Answer? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, George. Uh, well, our, our website is definitely a state of the art website. People can definitely visit us there. Mm -hmm. uh, TheCubanFestival.com. Mm -hmm. Very easy. That's what we're about. Um, and, you know, the long term vision with this um, is, is to take this on a tour. We want to show really? ev everybody about this, okay. about, about the beautiful culture of Cuba and, um, you know, that, that forbidden experience that people really don't get. Sure. You know, hopefully, you know political things happen well, yeah, the right exactly. way and that thing opens up but you know until that happens we feel like we have the responsibility mm. you know uh you know we well we, we got ourselves into it so now we got to take <laughs> care of business uh, but you know we feel like we have the responsibility to really open this thing wide open so mm -hmm. you know we're, we're not looking to just do this in chicago we okay. want to travel the u.s and say hey this is the Cuban Festival. That's this is we're about. So that's any that's any our, cities in particular. I mean, we've been asked by people in LA, New York, New, Jer Miami, New Jersey, Miami. That say, so. when is the Cuban Festival coming? When is it coming to our town? Yeah. And so it's kind of we we, we have uh, vendors, mm -hmm. um, food vendors that drive down from Miami to oh, partake wow. in the festival, and we have. Uh, arts and crafts uh, merchandise vendors mm -hmm. that come from all over sure, the U.S. Sure. They drive to the festival. So, you know, maybe uh, we'll stop by their hometown soon. There you go. You know I think that's so. a, those are wonderful plans. So, yeah, absolutely. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for absolutely. taking the time. I'm sure you guys are swamped. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> thank you for the invitation. Right yeah. yeah. We're super excited. Of course, we're going to be there. We're going to be, you know, be doing some, some really cool photo booth stuff and kind of meeting and greeting. But I think it's more than anything, wonderful opportunity for, for partners of yours to reach out to that same kind of you know, key audience that loves culture, that really loves, lives and breathes not only the food, but the music, but just wants to have fun. Absolutely. And so for that reason alone, thank you very much for, for the And time. real quick, before sure. we go, I just want to say that it couldn't be possible with our sponsor. So I do have to name our title sponsor, this Lowe's Home Improvement Store. Okay. And uh, then we have tons of elected officials, Alderman Deborah Graham, who co-sponsors this event in the 29th Ward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, Which is uh, yeah, where, where, yeah, where Reese Park is wonderful. at. And, and there's so many, Representative Cynthia Soda, State Senator Iris Martinez, Senator Willie Delgado. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, we'll be here all day because yeah. that's how much support we're getting and we're grateful. It's overwhelming. And uh, we love, we're excited. No, and the best part we're is, excited. you know, people can find out about the rest of the sponsors and support them as well because yep, that's absolutely, key, absolutely. Right? Supporting them supports you guys as well, too. So, absolutely. Thank so, you very much, guys. Thank awesome. So Thanks, guys. Right, Thank take you. Care. Bye -bye.